everyone, we're Diana and Ian from Lonely Spec, and in this video we're going to share the essential knowledge and gear you need to photograph the Milky Way. We're going to talk about gear, planning, settings, and focus. First, let's talk about gear. You need a camera with manual controls, like a digital SLR or a mirrorless camera, and a wide-angle lens, something between 12 to 28 millimeters in focal length. And the lower the F number, the better. You also need a tripod and a headlamp or flashlight so that you can see in the dark. And make sure you get to know your gear well before you head out on your first night shoot. So next up is planning. Obviously we're going to need a dark location with minimal light pollution. One of our favorite resources for finding a dark place is darksitefinder.com, but national parks, state parks, and other public lands tend to be some of the best places to shoot astrophotography. We also need to consider the moon cycle when planning. To get the best colors, details, and contrast in the Milky Way, we need to find a time to shoot with minimal moonlight. The closer you are to the new moon, the more time you'll have to shoot the stars on any given night. The next thing to think about is the seasons of the Milky Way. From March through November, we have the opportunity to shoot the bright galactic center. And from October through April, we can shoot the outer edge of the Milky Way with the constellation Orion. You can also download some helpful apps to aid in your planning and shooting. Some options include PhotoPills, Stellarium, and SkyGuide. Next, let's talk about camera settings. For astrophotography, it's best to use manual exposure mode, and it's important to set our camera or lens to manual focus mode. As always, we want to be shooting in RAW, and switch to any manual white balance setting for consistency between your night photos. To reduce in-camera processing time, turn off long exposure noise reduction. For the sharpest shot, disable any sort of image stabilization, also known as steady shot or vibration reduction. And use your two second self timer to prevent camera shake. For exposure settings, we recommend starting with the widest aperture or lowest F number on your lens, ISO 3200, and a shutter time of 15 to 30 seconds. A low F number or wide aperture allows us to collect as much light as possible for the best image quality at night. A high ISO is actually super important for astrophotography. Contrary to popular belief, a low ISO will actually result in an image with more noise and grain in very dark conditions. So don't be too afraid to increase your ISO up to a setting like ISO 6400 or even ISO 12800. And finally, a shutter time of about 15 to 30 seconds will ensure that our camera is collecting adequate light for the dark conditions, but isn't so long that we'll have a ton of star trailing in the final image. You can use our Milky Way exposure calculator to find the best starting settings for your equipment, and you can find that link in the description below. Last, we need to talk about focus. Unfortunately, autofocus will not work when we're focusing on the night sky, so we always need to be shooting in manual focus mode. Start with your focus near infinity. If there's no infinity mark on your lens, you can get pretty close by rotating your focus ring all the way to one side. Typically on Canon and Sony lenses, that means rotating it all the way to the left. And on Nikon and Fujifilm cameras, that means rotating it all the way to the right. You can test this out during the day on your camera to figure out which direction is infinity on your lens. Next, you'll center the brightest star in your frame and magnify as much as possible. If you're using a digital SLR, you'll need to enable live view mode to do so. Then you'll adjust your focusing ring until the stars are as pinpoint or small as possible. And now you're ready to shoot. So take a test shot and review your image to check focus and image brightness. Make any adjustments to focus and increase your ISO as needed. Once your settings are dialed in, you can use them to shoot the entire night. Just be mindful that if you bump your focus ring, or in some cases turn off your camera, you may need to refocus. So that's an overview of everything you need to know in terms of gear, planning, settings, and focus to photograph the Milky Way. We've included some helpful links below in the description if you'd like to learn more. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more astrophotography videos, please subscribe and check out all of our gear reviews, tutorials, and inspiration on LonelySpec.com.